Hey everybody, welcome back to the Desert Storm Jet Meet in Phoenix, Arizona, Speed World. We're going to walk around and see what's all new stuff today. Just got a Master F4. It's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Water mile track over here. You'll find that. Got it all weathered up. Twice a year. You'll find Looks the, uh, good. The, the Not too extreme the weathering. Small tracks in the center of the complex. They got a, they got a uh, top fuel sand drag track at the end of our complex here. Over on the other side, this sits on 368 acres. All right, another F4. Like them F4. Oh, there's a new one. Another F16. Racing across back over in here. So this, this is a small one. I think this is a Tam Jet. Oh, no ailerons. Put some tape holding that on. Not, 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 not ready to go. Brand new. So, I'll let you know. We're hoping to get some new screws. The old rookie. Composite R. Big old thing on lightning. A couple more bobcats. You're welcome to come up here and take pictures anytime you want. Can I show you your back a little bit of a picture on that? Sure, man. Yeah. Sure. Help yourself. The body actually blocks the view of a number of other people. So, uh, you know, you uh, what happens when you get a flame out and you can't make it back to the runway? He actually hit. He was coming in. We thought he was going to make it. You see them cages out there? We hit one of them. Did it pretty good, but you know what? I could fix that. I could fix that. He's foam on the nose. Get her back to shape. There's Tam. From Tam Jets. Got the coolest little F-16 with one of them little bitty turbines in it. That is cool, man. I think they just bounced her in landing. Where's it at? Hang on! Oh, yeah. Get that brakes on! Got smoke on them brakes. Hey! I want to run a little boss for that. When he gets it turned back gentlemen. over, I'll show I'm you guys. We'll have a few camera people here. That little thing's got a turbine in it. Morning, Tam. Morning, Bob. Seen that thing going again. That little thing flies good. Yeah, just my trick on the gear. She'll be up and again. Uh -oh. <laughs> As I was saying, on the F-22, that's the cousin to the, the 35 that we're all... This thing here, man, this get. guy was flying it uh, like it was a stick, blue. doing touch and goes. We do get that. Um, <laughs> Full to flap the, deflection, the that's how much flap he was getting, using on landing. As much as he could get. He's got a couple hundred the flights on this thing. thing. It still looks brand new. This is a B, uh, BBM Bandage, Bob Avila. Some stuff in there. Yeah, it's like his kind of pilot got kind of scared. I'm sorry. Tried to eject. I am supposed to know their names, frontward and backward. Cool, cool. Getting the Ultra Bandit ready. And then we'll get the, uh, we'll get the, oops, we'll get the two wires. So. Once again, that is another flag that's taken off. Done with one of her colors and they might have I just get in the I, oh, I hear another one going. Where's Sonny going to the service? They don't need someone else's head in there. <laughs> Shooting aviation. I think we might have another uh, F-22 to the left. That was David Schumann. I think I called him the wrong name yesterday. We got the Black Bunny F4, get ready to go up. We got J5 wearing his bomber t-shirt. <laughs> so, tell all the fans, we want to know the truth. Was you all excited when you found out I was coming to Phoenix? <laughs> This is old Bill's F4. I think that's a 160, 160, 180. This is Skymaster. This is a little, little neater than, than his other ones. That's not bad, not bad. I like this little tray here. He just kind of could slide that out and uh, 
get to his stuff pretty easy. Not bad. Not bad. But he's got his big OF-15 ready to fly. Big OF-15 is ready. That one's ready to go. Oh yeah, I told him he could push it back. Several months to actually uh, get it all together, so all the editing processes that he had to go through. But well, so it's we got crude wiring, so yeah, they are on average. It has been worked on now, it's almost ready to go. It's a good program. First one went for almost two hours, I almost fell asleep. Okay. Oh, look at this thing. He whooped this out of trailer this morning. This is some more of that. His chrome sticky covering. He said he's trying to ha having a hard time finding that covering without flaws in it. But this is just that sticky chrome covering. He buffs it with a steel wool and got a solder iron and solder iron and pushes it just burns right through it and he burns through the paint. Uh, you get them panel lines out the there? The Learn something new every day. Do they fly faster? Isn't that amazing? Are you saying he used a soldering iron to do the rivets? Yes. Just made himself a metal tip? No, you know, you put a piece of uh, brass tubing on the end of one of them trigger ones. Oh, wow. It's got to be real low temperature. Yeah. And then you take like a piece of wood and you put a bunch of half circles in the edge about every oh, three sixteenths or half right and it's only the template's only about four or five inches long you just lay them on your seam and then you just put that soldering iron on it and touch the tip you need a big snow day you know what i mean You'd be surprised at the time people find, you know, most of this, most of this stuff's done at three in the morning. There you go. <laughs> what kind of, did, did you say this is like the foam cover? No, this is a, 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 a it's a, a fiberglass fuselage. You get it pretty much ready to paint. It's got to be really smooth. Yeah. And then you put that set of chrome sticky stuff you get at the hobby store, you know. It's kind of like Monaco, but it's got a sticky back. Really? Yep, and then you hit it with steel wool. Then he takes some kind of powder after he and uh, after he gets the rental rivets on it and like ash powder and just kind of rubs it around in the rivets and stuff. And Dang! I know. Isn't it amazing? I'm just like them trim sheets, you know. That's about four inches wide and. That's a trim sheet. Yes. Cut into each each panel. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, no bubbling or anything. No, you gotta work it just right, you know. But there, he cuts them into little pieces the size of the panels. Okay. You know. It's amazing. This is an awesome job. He's got another one out here. He's got an F100 here too. Oh, it's the same guy. Yeah. The one with the red tail. Yeah. Okay, I know who you're talking about. Makes Beautiful. sense now. Yeah. He did it twice. <laughs> Learns on one. Uh, yeah, exactly. Well, we've seen a. I kind of like this little electric thing here. He was flying that. That thing is fast, man. And I've seen a couple new ones down here. You guys got to see. It's more than Bob Violet electric things. That's electric. This camp's pretty much electric. Here's that big, that Thunder Chief Killer. I gotta get that done and go chase this boy down. <laughs> this thing flies really good and it looks in the, good in the air. I kinda like that airplane. Ooh, I haven't seen that one. I believe that one's new. Oh, it's turbine. It's got a metal pipe in the back. That's nice. I like that. I mean, it's pretty good size. I bet that's one of them violet jobs. Nice gear. Look at that nose gear. That's gorgeous. I like that old plane. Look at that video of that flying. What a big old lightning. These things fly good. Oh. Man, look at that. I'm on that one. Just in a minute. <laughs> Check this thing out. We'll call that a warning. It's just got a single turbine in the tail, and the cells are dummies. It's huge. All scratch built. Once again, 